Howdy, howdy, people of the internet. My name is Orchestrion. You can call me Orc for short, Orchestrion for long. Ever wonder what it'd be like to play as Crazy Dave in Team Fortress 2? Well, here's your chance. Today, we're going to be analyzing the character of Crazy Dave from Plants vs. Zombies, and we're going to viably build a loadout designed to emulate him in TF2. Three things we gotta tackle. Class, cosmetics, and weapons. We want to capture the essence of Dave, from what he looks like, his skills and abilities, and the way he would play. To begin our Badlandian cosplay of this wabby wabbling warrior, we need to choose a class for our faithful foundation. Soldier. Soldier, 100%. Soldier not only has the greatest physical resemblance to the goofy gardener, but he also shares the same unhinged cloud cuckoo lander energy. Soldier. Now that we have our base, let's dress the soldier up so that he at the very least resembles the insane savior of Neighborville. For simplicity's sake, we'll start from the top and work our way down. Okay. You knew we were going to start with a stainless pot, right? Talk about a perfect headpiece to match Dave's own saucepan snapback. Moving on, Crazy Dave has a lack of a shave. We need a medium length scruffy brown beard, and I have just perfectly described the mistake in Movember, oh look at that. For our third cosmetic, I regrettably could not find a shirt to match Crazy Dave's white polo. True, there's this enhanced soldier model by Maxi on the SFM workshop that gives it, but we need something we can replicate in game. I've elected to pull up the Flashdance footies. This will exchange soldiers' combat boots for cuffs to his pantaloons and a pair of shoes that better service Dave's own suburban stompers. It might be an odd choice, but hey, if it's odd, then it's Crazy Dave approved. Alright kid, you look the part, now you gotta act the part, and for that we need to pick out our weapons. We need to find the weapon in each category that best represents Crazy Dave. Starting with our primary, we're picking up the Beggar's Bazooka. Not only does it look like some crazy homemade weapon that Crazy Dave rigged up in his garage, but its burst fire calls to mind one of the first upgrades that Dave sells in his store, Crazy Dave's Twiddly Dinkies. The Gatling P. Before I move on though, I'd like to give a brief mention to a Halloween spell that would make this the perfect PvZ primary. If you can get your hands on a Beggar's Bazooka with a Squash Rocket spell, enjoy blasting those zombies away with your very own TF2 Pea Shooter. For our secondary, I knew from the start Dave should have a banner, but to pick one, I agonized over such a decision. The deployed buff banner resembles the flag zombie's accessory, the battalion's backup gives the team a critical defensive boon, and the speedy Mollusk Conqueror can call back to Stinky the Snail. Ultimately though, I decided on the battalions. I just think it best represents Dave. Not necessarily in aesthetics and references, but instead what Dave at his core represents. Crazy Dave is probably the greatest defensive ally that one could hope to have when the apocalypse is on their lawn. He provides you with extra seed slots, new plants, tactical advice, otherworldly wisdom, weed probably. Plants vs. Zombies at its core is not a survival game, but a tower defense game. Let the battalion's backup hum that tune. And finally for Melee, we're playing a direct 180 from what would probably be the best soldier secondary to the worst soldier Melee with the stock shovel. Some people might be confused why I don't pick the market gardener and to that I say I'm not gonna do Dave dirty. You have to realize how important this basic gardening tool actually is to his character. When the neighbor pulled the shovel from his earth, thus did he herald the first arrival of Christopher David Blazing III, his greatest ally in defending his homestead from the unrelenting legions of the undead horde, doth summon with walnut in hand and valor in heart, only brought from his slumber by shovel, drawn like the sword from stone! And there we have it. That's how you build a Crazy Dave loadout in TF2. Real quick, let's go over the pros and cons. Your pack is stacked to protect you from the attack. The battalion's backup is a super strong utility that any defensive soldier worth their salt should have at their disposal. To flip the script in its entirety, if you spam mouse one with the beggar's bazooka, you will have a functionally endless clip. That's pretty damn powerful. Additionally, with your battalion's backup, the extra health given, and the defensive buff, when the banner is active, you can be more liberal with your self-damage. I'm not saying go rocket jump to kingdom come, there are better rocket launchers for that very purpose, but you don't have to be as self-conscious about it for weapons such as the direct hit. Let's rip the band-aid off. You are using one of the most outclassed and useless stock weapons in the entire game. You are barely faster than a heavy. You need utility or something crazy in your melee slot and 
honey, that sluggish shovel just can't provide. I'm gonna go out and say it this too. The random projectile deviation for the Beggar's Berserker can go suck a lemon. It's terrible, I hate it, and it makes it very, very unreliable and kind of frustrating at times. And ironically to its name, the battalion's backup means that you won't have a reliable damage dealing backup secondary. You're not gonna have a shotgun. So if you're running out of rockets for your primary weapon, well then, sorry Dave, you're hosed. Above all though, I hope you folks have fun dressing up as Crazy Dave and carrying on his incomprehensible inertia through this silly little hat game. Fun fact, at one point I was actually going to make a channel based off of Crazy Dave called Miss Suga Jane, and that's the inspiration for this episode as well as this little comment right here. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and be sure to leave a comment down below just like this one for any suggestions for a character loader that you want to see me build. Well, until next time.